AITA for telling my father to get over the vase my son broke? When I was a teenager, my father bought a large glass vase, which he filled with wine corks. For years, it stayed on top of a small table in the living room. My family visits him monthly for lunch. Last October, my son was running around my father's living room and accidentally knocked the table over, which caused the vase to fall down and break. I immediately apologized and offered to buy a new vase. My husband and I also cleaned everything up. My father declined my offer to replace it. At the time, he said he understood it was an accident and was just glad my son hadn't gotten hurt. He was two years old at the time, and there was a lot of glass on the floor. During the next couple of months, I apologized and offered to pay for a new vase multiple times. My father continued saying it was fine. However, earlier this year, my father started talking about how much he loved the cork vase and how expensive it had been back when he bought it. As the following months went by, his complaints began to escalate. He'd make comments about the fact that my son broke the vase almost every time we came over. Occasionally, he'd also joke that we should plan our visits with longer notice so that he could hide his valuables from my kid. Last week, he threw a party at his place, which we attended. A friend of his who hadn't visited in a while noticed the vase was gone and asked about it, to which my father replied that my little shit had broken it and I hadn't replaced it. My husband was nearby and heard it. After the party, I confronted my father and we fought. He said that he had the right to complain about the fact that my son had damaged his property. I told him that while he has the right to be upset, the fact that he declined my offer to buy him a new vase does not entitle him to complain about me not doing it. He can either retract his forgiveness and work something out with me or get over the vase and stop blaming my toddler for the accident. I won't have him calling my son names over this. My father is still insisting I'm in the wrong here. Ida, edit. I recommend reading my comments. Plenty of people are making assumptions that I'm clarifying in my replies. Update. After reading your comments, I decided to offer to buy my father a new vase again. I explicitly told him this would be the last time I'd make that offer. If he said no and continued to complain about it, he wouldn't be allowed to see my son until he'd calmed down. He eventually agreed. The store he'd bought the original vase from does not exist anymore. So I started doing some research. I found one I thought was very similar at a furniture store near my place. I'd bought vases from them before, so I knew they had great quality. On Saturday, we went on our monthly lunch at my father's place and took the opportunity to give him the new vase. He seemed grateful at the time and had a cute moment with my son as they filled it up with the corks. I thought this was done, but the next day, my father called me. He had looked up the new vase online and noticed it was less expensive than he expected. Then he asked, are you sure this is the best you could find? That's when I said screw it. I'm done with his passive aggressiveness. I told my father we're no longer going to his place for anything. If he wants to see my family, he can come to ours. He protested, but I held my ground. My father did not communicate his wishes at any point and still complained about the outcome. I'm done watching my family be accused of being bad people and I don't want this behavior to extend to my son any more than it already has. So this is where we stand now. My father doesn't like driving to my place, so I'm not sure about the future of our monthly lunches. I love my father, but I am extremely disappointed in him. If all this means I will see him less than usual for a while, I might be a little glad. The time apart might be good for us. My greatest concern is my son's relationship with his grandfather, which I will try to encourage. Edit. Please read my comments before making assumptions about me, my child, or my father. The vase I bought would roughly translate to 100 US dollars. I don't live in the US. My father told me he doesn't remember the original's price, only that it was more expensive than that. He was also not attached to the vase itself, but to the corks that were inside it, which he managed to salvage. I'm certain of the new vase's quality.